right, Therapy Thursday is on. And first of all, a semester and a half of college gets you a long way. Yeah. All right, just, just know. <laughs> just know. All right, we got uh, your queries for Dr. Davi, for Meredith MD, for Orlando BGYN, any way you want to go. We can give you some sort of uh, fake brilliance. Yeah, I actual brilliance comes out well, too. Well, we try. Yeah, there's some there's some nuggets. And, and He's honestly, offended by you. Not, you know, it's not brilliant, but yeah. we try. All right, we well, try. Let's see if we got some today. We got, we got good intent. One just came in, and I read it, and I got to tell you and ask you the question. Now, are you ready? What is this it? This one's for Davi. For me? Okay. But I'm pretty sure we're all going to jump in. Davi, my wife went to lunch with her trainer after they, fit, after they finished their workout, and it got me mad, and it got back to me, not from her, by the way. Hmm. I mentioned it, and she said, babe, you have nothing to worry about. He's been showing me how to order healthy choices. How does that sound to you, Dr. Davi? Huh. How to order healthy choices, huh? <laughs> how to order, how, okay, so that, so that so that's the reason. That's the reason we go to lunch. Okay. Um if this was like a cop show, for example, <laughs> I would say we have a lead. We don't have a suspect. <laughs> I, 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 we got a person of interest. Yes. The trainer is a person of interest. I has she crossed the line there? The fact that she didn't tell you, interesting. Not enough. To kind of you know freak out or anything, but definitely enough to watch this trainer. Well, I would, I would keep because yo let let let's call a spade a spade. A lot of trainers are creeps. Mm. There 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 is that factor. <laughs> I, I'm j- I know personally some creepy trainers. <laughs> there There's go. also a, a ton of professional ones, and you know that might even go above and beyond showing her how to eat. I know you pay for their time. It's usually in the gym. It's not really lunch, but. Uh, I, I, on this alone, I'd give her the benefit of the doubt, but I'd watch home. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'll Be ta- on your I'll toes. I, listen, I, I'm, I'm trying to get back to not undermining our doctors okay. in here. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I know with you him? were like, we all going to chime in. I'm not going to chime in. Okay. Though. Davi gave his opinion. I wouldn't be surprised. Davi's a trained professional. Yes. <laughs> he said, don't be worried about it, so we're not going to be worried about it. Okay. Don't, don't freak out. Yeah, don't, don't freak, freak out. out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. But keep an eye on don't, the situation. Don't, don't freak out about it. All right. Okay. Let's see here. We got another one. We got one for you, O. All right. So this question is for Orlando. Should I be concerned about my girl not wanting me to get weight loss surgery because she is afraid that it will not go well? Because she does not want anything to happen to me since I am the primary provider. Okay. Um, I think, first of all, she's worried about you a little bit more than just being the primary <laughs> provider. Like, let's, let's just, you know, that's your job. Yeah. But that's not what you do. That's not who you are. Who you are is her husband. Right? Okay. You're, you're her man. I don't know if y'all married or whatever, but you're her partner. So I think she probably, might, probably don't want you to die. That's the first thing. And a lot of people honestly take um, medical procedures lightly now. And I think that because mm-hmm. people are starting, because it might be a, a product of social media, but people are now aware of how people are getting things done. Yeah. They're like, you know, hey, I got these abs because I went to Dr. Ab. Uh, or, hey, <laughs> I got this, these great thighs because I went to Dr. Thigh. And it's like everybody has a thing now. So it does become a little bit cumbersome when people are making all these a la carte kind of choices for their bodies and stuff. And not everybody needs to go that route. If you want to lose some weight, there are ways that you can do it. I mean, I've not lost everything that I've, I was supposed to, but I've been I've got a really good move uh, with this whole keto thing. Keto hasn't worked for some, but it works for others. So um, I would say don't not do it because you're the breadwinner. Look at the dangers of it. Talk to her and maybe your physician about it. Like talk to some real professionals. I mean, you know, we are good doctors, but we do this on the radio. Yeah. So I would say, you know, I, her worry should be, you know, factored in because she is caring about you. She might not have worded it right, mm-hmm. um, but make sure that you, you know, make the right decisions. But don't just jump on anybody's table because we've seen all of the bad stories about women who have done stuff down south and end up with uh, household caulkings inserted in them because somebody chose to use that instead of the, the yeah. medicinal stuff. Go to somebody stuff. that's certified, Fix actually somebody, been to yeah, school. Go to somebody who's been to some classes. Don't show up at the, just know, the hotel. Like, and every doctor like got, a, got a medical degree on the wall, and you don't know if they got A's or C minuses. So, mm-hmm. you know, you got to pick the right one. But at so least they went not, to school. It, but yeah, but I'm saying, <laughs> if you got C's, though, I don't know if I necessarily want you to be cutting on me like that. I need the A's. So, mm-hmm. so don't just jump on anybody's table. Really think about those kind of things. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. Uh, one for Meredith. 
Therapy Thursday. I will be 40 this year. I have a nine-year-old son, and I'm struggling financially. In February, my second baby is due, and I'm nervous about having another child. Any help will be appreciated. Mm. Okay, you got to start thinking about your future. I mean, especially like right after you give birth, you're not going to be able to do too much because the newborn lifestyle is just flipped upside down, no lack of sleep. But there is a lot of alone time there where you can start plotting on what your next adventure is going to be or a side hustle. So it sounds like you have a job at the moment, but it's not providing you enough. So see if you can elevate yourself. Like, let's plan your future here. You have two kids now. You're financially, you know, struggling at the moment you know we gotta we gotta look towards the future and how we can better ourselves whether that's a new job or a side hustle or lowering our our bills or our payments or you know if you can get a loan or something like that from um you know help from family anything like that so you got to start planning for your future and getting i guess a better job or something on the side i'm dating a man that just got out of a marriage a year ago he says he does not want a commitment which he keeps telling me but is showing me otherwise, LOL. Now he says he does want a relationship, which is confusing. I don't know which way to go with this. Please help. Red flag. Uh, uh, Red wait, flag. wait, before, like, I don't, don't answer fast, though. If this is for all of us, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just saying. It could be a red flag, but it also could be just like we talked about somebody hasn't had good practice. Mm. You just got out of the relationship, so immediately the first thing you're going to say is, all right, I don't need to mm-hmm. get into a relationship, but you really don't know how to act other than being in a relationship. So that might not, you know what I'm saying? It might not be a malicious red flag, but a red flag. Yeah, definitely you need to um, be aware that he doesn't know what he wants at the moment. He's just, he says he wants that. Now, you got to listen to what he's saying, though. Like, in the very beginning, even, uh, what, a week or two ago, he's probably said he, he wants to explore the other lifestyles of other women and go enjoy his life. But now he's getting comfortable with you. But what happens when he starts feeling that again? So, you know, keep having that conversation. You're, I would wouldn't trust his opinion whatsoever right now at the moment. Him. No, his opinion right now. No, 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 because he's just fresh out of a, a, a marriage. Year, a year. Yeah. It's been a year. It's been a year. I mean, the dude, the dude is like, he's not. I wouldn't. He don't, honestly, if you want to keep it 100, because, I mean, we are, we try and do that with this process. Right. Um, He wasn't really sure. I mean, and, and you got to be real. He wasn't really sure if he wanted to settle down with you. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. In general. He, he wasn't sure. And, and, he, and you're showing him more. And he's, you know, falling in, but he's still not sold because he's only a year in. That's what I'm trying to say. I think his I feelings, leave, I think his feelings for her have Careful. grown because yeah, he, sure. he just went from I don't want a relationship to like, eh, you know yeah, what? This could I, be I, cool. I, think, I think you and me could work. Yeah. So whatever you do, do it slowly. Yes. But, you know, kind of mm-hmm. give yourself credit that you guys have a good thing going here. At least that's what it sounds like. And a good thing without titles. Man, titles can be the cancer to a relationship. Yeah. You just be happy. Right. Don't worry. You're talking to men that don't like titles, be by the way. Happy. <laughs> Sorry, two men that don't like titles nah, I don't, whatsoever. I don't like titles. I don't like titles. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. This ain't Title Town over here. So I'll tell you that. Take whose opinion who you are. Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Meredith loves titles. I do. I do. <laughs> what, we got, what we got? Question for Orlando. I have, uh, I have four kids, and one is not mine. My fiance and I have been having issues with my oldest, 10 years old, mm-hmm. and my three year old saying comments, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> saying comments that he's not your dad to the seven-year-old. What are some things that I can do to make her feel like uh, she's just like them, Aww. even though she's not biologically the ch- uh, my child? Um, I honestly, I would start with the just the verbiage. Mm. Um, I I grew up in whatever you want to call it a mixed family, you know, with with what you would call steps and stuff like that. But we never referred to each other as that. Our family was our family. My sisters and my brother were always my sisters and my brother. My dad referred to them as his daughters and his sons. Uh, so, you know, that I think that speaks volumes when people hear you talk. When, you, when, when your family hears your family talk about your family, they learn who the family is. So I, I believe that if you uh, remove all of the steps and the, this is your child, this is my child, you know, hey, we're all the same, you know, it, it takes some growing pains to get that done. But but change that narrative, that narrative that and the people say that so much now. But this is a true definition of how the narrative can 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 dictate, you know, a feeling people start feeling at home when it's cre- when a home is created. And, and you take away those labels and just make sure everybody knows that we're all in the same gang. Yep. Then, then, then that'll that'll 
go a long way. I think. Riding as one unit. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, we got one out of the 813. Orlando, what do I do if I were given bad advice from Davi in regards to my girl to get with her trainer, a.k.a. her real trainer or another man? Uh, okay, well, Davi gave the advice. Listen, I'm not going to say he gave bad advice. <laughs> I'm going to say that, uh, you know, there are some trainers out there who are nutritionists. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and maybe he is out there clocking your food. Maybe you are out there, you know, I, put it this way. Uh, most places wouldn't ask trainers to take their clients away from the facility. But if you are maybe doing some kind of field trip or something like, hey, let's go to a restaurant. Let me show you yeah. what you're supposed to eat to get you the gains that you're getting. I could see how that I have heard of that before. Trainers will suggest that, like, hey, I need to see what you're really ordering. Yeah. Taking like, journals. Let and me show you how to order. Other examples, yes. Now, if this is a if this is a, a couple times, this starts, sounds like dating. Right. <laughs> like, I might have to, you know. Right. Pop up. Mm-hmm. You know, like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Trainer? You know, like punch somebody in the mouth. <laughs> uh, we got one more out the 561. It says, so I just found out two of my three favorite radio hosts have Android phones and not iPhones. <laughs> I love them, and I've been listening to them for four years since I relocated to Tampa from West Palm. But now that I have found this out, how do I look past this act that they <laughs> are not team iPhones and they are Androids? Because I'm not a bandwagoner. That's why I'm not like, ooh, everything I have to own is an Apple. So there you go. I, I, I don't join, join cults. Mm. Um, you know, so, I mean, I, I, the fact that you enjoy us on the radio, I love it, Mm -hmm. but also you should be kind of happy that we're not following the norm, Yeah, you know, like, like everybody, like everything you would expect of us, you know, you find out a little nugget Mm -hmm. you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know she was a vegetarian. I didn't know he, you know, did this or whatever. So our iPhone void is just, you know, another layer of why you like our individuality. Yeah, we enjoy flexibility, functuality, and... And, and Windows 95. No, that's not what <laughs> we <laughs> use. <laughs> what? That's disrespectful. Exactly. What, what, you did, what, you did, what you did learn was we are not in the, the cult yeah. that Davi is in. That's right. And uh, we are Ooh. individuals. We can stand alone. Uh-huh. There we go. All right? Uh, Therapy Thursday is a wrap. <laughs>